Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the show. I'm your host, Mike Starr, and this is part two of the products that I got from MVD Entertainment Group. Now, today I'll be talking to you about two amazing Japanese horror films. Now, I watched these films yesterday. And they were quite bizarre, weird, and quite frankly, I like that. But without further ado, let's get this video started. With the first one, The Howling Village, a Takashi Shizumu's film, who is the writer of The Grudge 1 and 2. Now, this film was super bizarre, super weird. This is. This is similar to what an English folk story would be, but in a Japanese, uh, in a Japanese, um, you know, in the Japanese culture. So, um, that's what the inside looks like. It's pretty bare, but, um, yeah, audio and visuals, 10 out of 10. Great, great, weird Japanese horror film about, um, well, yeah, here are the special features. I'll just bring that up close to the camera so you can all have a look. Just right there. But, um, yeah, the stories are... Well, the film opens up with, um, you know, found footage style of um, a boyfriend and girlfriend at this phone booth, get a creepy phone call in, in the night time, and then they go to this location called the Howling Village, and something happens, and, you know, they film it on camera, similar to the Blair Witch Project, and then, you know... They shit themselves, and then it, um, you know, from there it goes to, um, you know, the, uh, the next scene, which is this woman in hospital, um, and she's a nurse. Her name is, uh, uh, Genade, I think that's how you say her name, and she's with this little boy taking care of him because she's a nurse, and then it shows her at home with her sister, and her sister was the, uh, the girl that went to the Howling Village in the video, and her name, um, I forgot what her name was, but anyways, it's showing her at home, and she's deeply disturbed, she doesn't seem herself, and she starts, you know, sort of like sleepwalking in in the street, and she pees herself, and then her brother comes running out, can't find her, and then she falls in front of him, um, and, and smashes on the, the, the road there, she commits suicide, she jumps from one of the radio towers onto the floor, right in front of her brother, splat, you know, on the floor in front of him, and then from there, um, her brother wants to go investigate the Howling Village, and, you know, he is beside himself, very, very creepy movie, you know, very, um, like, original Japanese story, and, um, yeah, just, uh, definitely a weird movie, um, yeah, not for everyone, but having said that, next film, and this one was quite strange too, I liked it a little bit better than the Howling Village, Howling Village went for eight, um, 100 minutes, sorry, this one goes for 80 minutes, and this one is Blind Beast, another Japanese, uh, cool Japanese movie, um, this one, uh, when did this come out? Originally, yeah, Howling Village is Region A, so you um you need an all region player to play that. Uh, this one is a uh, Region A as well, but I played it on my Australian um my PlayStation Three and it works, so you'll be fine. But this one, this one came out in nineteen sixty nine, right there. But as you can see, here are the special features. I'll just leave that there on the screen for a second, and then that's the front. This has reversible artwork, and I love the way you know, Arrow has done this, you know, I love all Arrow releases, um, but yeah, I'll just show you what the inside artwork looks like, that's the disc, let's put that down there, um, that's the reversible artwork, as you can see there, I'll just slowly, 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 special features right there, um, you know, let me just pause this video and just put this back in so I don't damage this, because... Okay. So, um... Let me show you. Um, it comes with, like, uh, this booklet, as you can see here. And it shows just 
bits of the movie, production, etc. Yeah, these are the characters. This is uh, Michio, his mother. Uh, this is Akashima, the model. But I'll explain to you the movie. Um, comes with this card. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Synopsis time. For this movie, it's quite a strange and old movie. But being an old movie, they did a good job cleaning it up. 10 out of 10 audios and visuals. Um, it goes for about 80 minutes, so it's quite a short film. So the film opens up with this, um, with, I don't know, like little snippet videos of this model called Akashima. And she's narrating the story. And then it shows her in the uh, gallery where she models at. And then she's perving on this guy who's touching this... Um, uh, this statue of this naked woman and somehow she's getting an orgasm out of it but um, yeah then she goes home she gets a massage from this guy who's not her usual masseuse and um, he's a blind man and he begins groping her and then ends up you know putting the chloroform on the cloth putting her to sleep kidnapping her taking her to his studio where he lives and when she wakes up, she's in a room full of like big, you know, fake mold sculptures of ears and boobs and, and other stuff. A really um, weird movie. Um, and you find out that this blind guy's kidnapped her so he can sculpt her. Uh, Michio is his name. And then he ends up sculpting her and it becomes havoc. You know, the, the chick, you know, manipulates him, says she loves him. And all these things, and um, the mother doesn't believe it, and the mother take like takes care of this this blind guy, and it's quite an obscure movie, and definitely a cool movie. I really like this one more than the Howling Village. It was just um, definitely a film that I've never seen before, but um, yeah. Having said that, I'm gonna wrap it up there. But stay tuned for my part three video, which will be um, some titles from Severin Films. Um, but, um, yeah, again, a big thank you to MVD Entertainment Group for sending me these movies to review. I'm Mike Starr. I'll catch you all in my third, uh, installment in this, uh, video series. Good night.